Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today I want to talk about three basic ways to disinfect your drinking water. So stick around. Due to the recent hurricanes in our country and natural disasters around the world, I thought that it would be appropriate yet once again to discuss three basic ways to disinfect water. Now these methods can be used in a field setting as well as an urban environment. But before we get started, I want to go ahead and discuss two key terms that are sometimes confused or substituted one for the other, and that is disinfect and purify. When you disinfect water, you're rendering inert or killing the viruses, bacteria, protozoa, and parasites. Now the water might look like crap, smell like crap, taste like crap, but is considered safe or potable. Now the next key term is purify. You often hear people say, I'm gonna purify my water by boiling. No, you're not. When you purify water, you're actually extracting or removing the viruses, bacteria, protozoa, parasites, radiation, petroleum-based products, and even pharmaceutical waste. So, with that in mind and understanding of those two basic key terms, let's go ahead and kick this off with the easiest way to disinfect water, and that would be by boiling. Now the important takeaways are bring the water to a rolling boil for one minute for elevations that are 6,500 feet and below, and for three minutes for elevations that are 6,500 feet and above. Now what is a rolling boil? Well, in my opinion, it's a rapid chaotic movement where the water is being turned or rolled from the bottom up over and over again. And right here you can see the rapid chaotic movement that we talked about. The water's being turned from the bottom up over and over. That's a rolling boil. Method number two, chemical disinfection using tincture of iodine 2%. Now the tincture of iodine 2% can be found in most pharmacies, usually one ounce. It's housed inside of a plastic container, has a built-in eyedropper, and it retails for around five bucks. Now with things like this, such as chemical disinfection of water, I'd like to show you where I get my information from. And that would be the Center of Disease Control and Prevention. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they say, then we'll come back and demo it. Yet again, simple and straightforward. The important takeaways are five drops per U.S. quart for clear water and up to 10 drops per U.S. quart for cloudy or murky water. Wait 30 minutes, and you're good to go. One, two, three, four, five. And for method number three, chemical disinfection using sodium hypochlorate, or common household bleach. Now this one's a little bit more complex because it depends on the amount or percentage of sodium hypochlorite inside your container. The most common percentages are six and eight percent. To find it, look at your active ingredient. This one right here 
six percent. Once again, we're going to deal with a chemical disinfectant. So I want to show you where I get my information from. So let's go ahead and check out what our good friends at the CDC, or Center of Disease Control Prevention, have to say about this. Like I said, it's a little bit more complex, so let's go ahead and talk it through. If you're dealing with 6%, 2 drops per U.S. quart or 8 drops per U.S. gallon. Wait 30 minutes, you're good to go. If the water is extremely cold, murky, or cloudy, just double the amount of drops. Now, for 8%, 2 drops per U.S. quart, 6 drops per U.S. gallon. Wait 30 minutes, good to go. Like before, the water is extremely cold, murky, cloudy, double the amount of drops. Unless you carry an eyedropper with you in the field, you're gonna to have to improvise one. A piece of cordage, or in this case, paper towel, works great. Just roll it up, place it inside your cap. It's gonna soak up the sodium hypochlorite and run off the end and drip right inside your container. One, two. It's good to go. Welcome back, that was outstanding. Now there's a healthy debate on the internet as to whether or not tincture of iodine 2% or sodium hypochlorite will completely kill cryptosporidium. And cryptosporidium happens to be a parasite that lives in the intestines of animals. They go into a water source, drop their stinky load, you then go in there and drink that water source and end up contracting it and ultimately getting more than you bargained for. Yeah, that's messed up. I'll go ahead and close with this. The number one method to completely eliminate or kill viruses, bacteria, protozoa, and parasites is to simply boil the water. Number two, those of you that choose to default to a type of chemical disinfection, meaning tincture of iodine 2% or sodium hypochlorite, either because you want to or because you have to, go ahead and check with your doctor prior to using it to make sure that there's no underlying medical conditions that would prevent you from using that method. And number three, simply research the state that you're in and find out whether or not there's a chance of you running across cryptosporidium. Thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, and I'll catch you next time.